Consider the following situation. There are two spacecraft orbiting a planet with coplanar circular orbits. What is the best way for the red craft to rendezvous with the yellow? The answer is a maneuver called the Hohmann transfer. This maneuver consists of two engine burns. The first elongates the craft's orbit, while the second circularizes the orbit once the farthest point or apoapsis is reached. Walter Hohmann was a nice guy and came up with some formulas to calculate the delta v required in each impulse. Note, delta v is change in velocity and should not be confused with acceleration, which is rate of change of velocity. After plugging in the known values, we find that the total delta v required is 480.23 meters per second. After plugging in some more known values to find the total capability of the rocket, we find that it's can produce more than enough delta V, which means we can perform the transfer without running out of fuel. To test these values, I recreated the situation in Kerbal Space Program. This is the ship I will be piloting, and this is the station I will be trying to get to. The two burns are located here and here. I inputted the calculated values into an autopilot mod because it will be more precise than if I performed the operations. As the first maneuver is underway, we can see that the rocket is an example of conservation of momentum because as exhaust particles are thrown out the back as thrust, the rocket is propelled forwards. We can also see the effects of the thrust as the orbit elongates and moves towards the goal orbit. As the craft travels to the next burn, you may notice that we are catching up to the station. This is because lower orbits have higher velocities to counter the higher gravitational force caused by closer proximity to the body being orbited. you can see the station passing by very close to the ship. This is a good sign because it was very close, but bad because it passed by. And as the orbit is circularized, it is apparent that there is a bit of error in the calculations. 2.4 kilometers may seem like a lot, but it is small by orbital standards and can be easily corrected by a few manual maneuvers. The slight inaccuracy was most likely caused by the starting orbits not being perfectly circular. Keep in mind that orbits will almost never be this circular, but using such orbits made the demonstration easier. Another source of error was the precision of the autopilot, which was set to plus or minus 0.1 meters per second by default, and was overlooked in the experiment. In conclusion, the Hoffman transfer is an efficient way to change altitudes while in orbit. Forgetting where the crew capsule hatch is, is not so efficient.